What's up, Title Dan Force? We got our board briefing Monday, June 21st. Man, this month is flying by. All right, so our warm up two rounds, something similar to Sunday's warm up 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, uh, 20 seconds of work of something else. All right, so first one is 20 seconds of push up to down dog. Okay, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of Kazakh squats, 20, or 10 seconds rest, and repeat. Okay, uh, the next one. We're gonna do 20 steps out, walking, okay? Uh, holding a kettlebell or a dumbbell in the front uh, goblet squat position without doing this, right? You wanna actually lean forward a little bit, turn our abs on a little bit, okay? So just 20 steps there and back, and then we got 10 sit-ups, and then we got 12 alternating staggered stance good mornings. Uh, good mornings can be done with PVC if you want. Uh, they can do be done like this. And if you can keep your back up and your shoulders straight, you can just do them with your hands down by your side. Whatever you prefer, all right? Um, our more specific warm up is deadlifts and some carries, okay? So before we start explaining this, just let me explain one thing. We have a suitcase carry, okay? Or a briefcase carry. It's one dumbbell or one kettlebell. If farmers carry at all times, it's always two, okay? So today's workout is gonna be farmer's carry, so we're gonna have two dumbbells or two kettlebells. Um, but for this specific warm-up, we're switching back and forth a little bit. So the first set, we've got 10 deadlifts with just the barbell, just practicing, okay? And then we're gonna have uh, 10 side bends. So that's gonna be with one dumbbell or kettlebell on one hand. We're just moving side to side. We'll do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Set number two, we're gonna add some plates Okay, anywhere from 10 to 45s. We're gonna do 10 deadlifts and then you're gonna do a 50 meter suitcase carry. One dumbbell or a kettlebell by our side, 50 meters, uh, sorry, 25 meters out, 25 meters back. Set number three, we're gonna do 10 deadlifts. We're gonna add, before we do the deadlifts, we're gonna add 10 pounds to 45 pounds, okay? Uh, and then we're gonna do farmer's carry for 50 meters. So two dumbbells or two kettlebells uh, 50 meters or 25 meters out, 25 meters back, total 50. And then for set four, we're just gonna do a final weight check on our deads, okay? So make sure that we're at the weight that we wanna be at for the workout, and then make sure that we're at the weight for we want the farmer's carry, okay? Um, so a couple reps of each, a couple walks, just testing things out. As we go along, you can get, as you see, we're getting a little bit heavier than the deadlifts, we're adding a little bit of weight, and that's fine. You can also do with that with the farmer's carries and the suitcase carries and the side bends and stuff like that. You can go up and wait, right? Um, three, two, one, go. Four time, 21, 15, nine, basically, with some farmer carries in the middle. So we got 21 deadlifts at 225, 155 for the RX version of the workout. Then you're gonna grab two dumbbells or two kettlebells and you're gonna walk 200 meters, okay? Uh, 50 and 35 is the weight for that. So 100 meters there, 100 meters back, come back, you're gonna do 15 deadlifts and 150 meter farmer's carry. Nine deadlifts, 100 meters farmer's carry, okay? Uh, level number two is gonna be the exact same workout except a little bit lighter weight. Sorry, not the exact same workout. A little less distance on the carries and a little bit lighter weight. So 21 de deadlifts at 155, 105. 150 meters farmers carry, 40, 25, right? And then 50 deadlift or 15 deadlifts, and then 100 meter farmers carry, nine deadlifts, 50 meters farmers carry. Level three is the exact same distance and reps, except it's deadlifts at 75 pounds, 55 pounds. And any weight in between there is good, right? Doesn't mean you have to go um, 155 if you want to go 185, right? Make sense? Okay. Um, yeah, so just a general warm up. We're just getting uh, our body temperature up a little bit and then um, doing some ab stuff here and some hamstring stuff. And here we get to our specifics, right? We're doing the movements that we're gonna be doing in the workout. It's time to make sure that we're moving correctly, making sure that we're holding, maintaining that neutral spine or that flat back or that arched back when we're doing deadlifts, right? And making sure that our posture is good when we're carrying these dumbbells or kettlebells and then the workout. Um, general thoughts on the workout. When we have a workout 21, 15, nine, 
which this is, the first movement, 21 deadlifts at 225, 155, you should be able to go unbroken without a question, right? Um, that's the kind of uh, strength for that loading. So if you're not going unbroken on 21 deadlifts at 225, you should be dropping the weight a little bit so you can go unbroken on that, right? We wanna to try to get that stimulus in there. And if it's, I shouldn't say you should, you should generally be able to move that 225 unbroken for the 20, 21 reps. But if you're gonna split it up and say you're gonna do 11 and then 10, that's fine too. But just be known like you should be able to move that weight for, the, for those reps unbroken, okay? Uh, yeah, let's go and have some fun, do some deadlifts and some farmer's carries. See you tomorrow, guys.